good perimeter defender on Iverson. And Iverson gets his first shot to go in tonight. Iverson at those free throws. Fowler away with Ernie and hits a shot right there. So he's at two in a row for the field. Here's Iverson. He's struggling for the field. Drives inside on Parker and on Finley. And now Iverson has gone three of nine. He has ten in the game, eight in the quarter. He's hit three consecutive shots. Oh! Allen Iverson's hit four consecutive shots. Iverson is four of ten. He got Bowen off his balance and hits the shot. Iverson over Bowen. Right is the shot clock buzzer was going off. Look at the slashing move by Iverson inside for two. <laughs> He's fearless. And over Parker, a three by Allen Iverson. Iverson with Vaughn backpedaling and gave Iverson that room. He fell away nicely. As Iverson slides in for his 27th point, that is a game high. Shot clock at six, Iverson. Parker defending. Wow. Allen Iverson had a game high 31, a terrific performance in 45 minutes. the importance of uh, winning that game one? It's really important. You know, better than losing, <laughs> tell you that. <laughs> you know, we just played well tonight. You know, um, defensively, we played well. Um, I think offensively, we played well uh, too, but, you know, it was important for us to come out and play defense. You know, we understand that we can score points. Been saying that all year long. You know, we can score points. That's not our problem. We got to be able to stop people. And when we needed stops, we got them tonight. Yeah, did you think the defense was more about effort or more about the scheme that you pulled out tonight? Both. You know, it had a lot to do with uh, what our coaches instructed us to go out there and do. And, um, you know, and it takes effort. You know, obviously, uh, we gave the effort and we um, executed on what we wanted to do out there. You know, they got great players all around the board, and uh, we just wanted to take their strengths away. Can you talk about the importance of that 15-2 run? It looked like they had the momentum in the fourth quarter, and then you guys just turned around just like that. Yeah, I mean, you know, we understood that they were going to make their run. You know, we got a lead, and, uh, you know, before halftime, they uh, they took it back. You know, but we just didn't, we didn't panic. You know, we just kept play, playing basketball. Uh, Melo got a a layup at the um, end of the, the end of the half to um, give us that you know little momentum going into the third quarter, and um, the game kind of went back and forth from there, but uh, we were just stronger at the end. You've been talking about four months about defense. Talk a little bit about Nene's defense and your impressions of what he yeah, did. I mean, he got he's playing against a Hall of Fame player, you know, and. You can't stop a guy like that. All you can do is contain him. And um, they just did a great job of just, just taking the challenge. You know, with a, with a guy as good as Tim Duncan, you know, all you can do is just take that challenge, you know, as a player. And um, he just took the challenge. That was his assignment, and he just took it head on. And uh, he just did a solid job tonight. Can you make a statement with the game one win like you guys did? Can you make a statement with the game one win? Yeah, but it's just it's a long series. You know, we understand they're going to come back. They're on their home court, and their fans are going to be into it, and they're going to be into it. You know, they're going to have that sense of urgency. We expect that. You know, we just got to match their intensity and, and try to do some of the things that we were able to do tonight. You know, take all the positive things that we did tonight, carry them on to the next game, the negative things. We just work on them and, and make sure that they don't occur again in the next in the next game. Al, it's been a while since you've been a part of the playoffs. Yeah, you're right. It took until about the second quarter to get involved tonight, too. I mean, is it different? It's, it's, it's not different. I mean, you know, I, I've been in the playoffs. I've been through wars like this. and um, But the whole thing was just, it, it, it felt kind of you know, new to me. You know, um, but after a while, it just felt like a regular game. You know, um, I started off you know, slow and, you know, throughout, I, I'm, I've been in this league 11 years and um, I learned early that you're going to have, 
you know, rough games. And uh, the most important thing about that is, you know, just keep playing basketball. Just keep believing in yourself. Keep believing in your teammates. And uh, something good can happen. I mean, you owe that to them to keep playing. So, you know, I just I just kept playing, you know, stayed with um, trying to be aggressive and, and making things happen for my team. And eventually I just caught a rhythm. What you talking about what you guys did in the half court? And there wasn't a lot of fast break points by you guys, but you guys executed well. Like yeah, I mean, that's going to be the most important thing. And I, I think a lot of that comes from being able to, you know, having the luxury to be able to throw the ball into Carmelo. And, uh, you know, once guys double team, double team him, you know, it's kind of, you know, uh, a luxury for us, you know, to be able to play against a team team that's that's running out at us, you know, and, and being able to get a little bit of space out there on the court. I mean, it's fun being able to throw the ball into him, and then you know have somebody double team, and we get a chance to play on the other side of the court. You know, hopefully, you know, teams will stop double teaming him and let him play one on one, and. Uh, you know, I, I think that's when he can be more effective, but he can be just as effective throwing the ball out and just believing in his teammates. And that just says a lot about how he, you know, believes in us. Two years ago, uh, the Nuggets won the first game in this series. You, of course, weren't around then, but, you know, some people thought maybe they got a little overconfident and happy. What can you do as a veteran to make sure the team, you know, stays grounded? Because obviously you need three more wins. Honestly, you know, I, I shouldn't have anything to do with that. You know, that's something that they had to go through, you know, as a team. And they and they saw that once you get overconfident, what can happen? So why do it again? You know, I shouldn't have to be able to say nothing to get guys to um, continue to play. You know, we know how serious it is. We know what type of team they are. You know, they're, they're a great team. They're a well-coached team. And they got a lot of pride. And, uh, you know, they're going to come in here and, and, and try to get a win. And we understand that. And we know they're not just going to try to give it up. You know, they want to win a championship. Just like we want to win one. Were you personally at all uptight coming into this game? We were kidding you about not beating the playoffs for a while. Um, do you still get nervous or, or no? I, man, I get nervous when I'm playing in a pickup game. It doesn't matter what um, what kind of game I play, I get nervous. I mean, I, I think if you don't get butterflies, you know, then something wrong with you. You know, I, I knew I was going to be nervous coming into the game, but... That's how I am at the start of all games. But once you start running around and getting banged around, then, you know, it just all goes away and you just play basketball. Hey, Alvin, how important was the word I mean, it was important, you know, just to um, let people know that, that we're thinking about them. And, it, you know, it touched home for me, you know, because I'm from Virginia. And, um, you know, it was just some, you know, just a dedication to those people, um, you know, the victims, uh, the families, you know, just to let them know that people, you know, are thinking about them. Um, did the players have anything to do with selecting the uniforms tonight? All uniforms? No, I, 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 I mean, our equipment manager handles that, but I'm pretty sure he knew we wanted to wear these. Any other questions?